Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In the last video I did, we installed Proxmox on a bare metal server hosted by Hetzner. Their Proxmox image, however, was based on version 6. Today, we'll be upgrading that server from Proxmox 6.4 to 7.1. Generally, you want to install the latest stable version available from the get-go, but because my server is hosted elsewhere and is bare metal, it does make things a little bit more difficult. The server I'm renting does not have a built-in IPMI port, such as an ILO or iDRAC interface. So to facilitate ISO mounting, Hetzner uses IP KVMs, such as those made by Lantronics. The downside to these being that you must request them via a ticket, and they can be slow as far as virtual media is concerned. Due to this, I decided instead of reinstalling from scratch on Proxmox 7, I would upgrade the existing instance I have and take you guys along for the ride. <laughs> My first step is to SSH into or open up the console on your Proxmox server. I'm already SSH'd into mine. Next, let's run Proxmox's built-in migration verification tool. The command is pve627 space dash dash full. Here, we receive no warnings, so we're good to proceed. At this point, if you have any running virtual machines or containers, they should be safely powered down before you go on. Once that's done, we'll do an apt update to ensure our existing system is current, and if we have any updates, we'll do them now. I have none, so we're safe to move on. Now we need to edit our apt sources list. We'll begin by taking a backup. and then run the following said command to replace the words buster with bullseye. And we'll nano back in to ensure that everything looks good. And it does. Now we need to update the apt repo list for Proxmox in a similar manner, going from buster to bullseye. So we'll nano in to verify that everything looks good. Then we'll run the sed command. Nano back in, and everything looks like it took. Now we do an apt update to check against these new repos that we just put in. And now that that's done, we'll run the distribution upgrade and confirm that we want to proceed. Here we get a confirmation that we're moving to a new version of Proxmox and it asks us if we'd like to continue. Press enter to continue on. We'll get asked if we want to use existing files or replace them. Hit enter to keep the existing. will also allow the services to be automatically restarted for us during the upgrade. We will be asked a few times during this process if we want to keep existing files or replace them with new ones. I kept all of the old files as Proxmox has some customization configuration beyond what is standard with Debian.
Now we'll do the local version again. And again, keep the local version. And with that, we're done. Back on the web GUI, we can see that we're on Proxmox VE 7.1-8. You want to do a reboot first and foremost to make sure that everything took properly. Once that's back up from the reboot, you can power on all of your virtual machines and containers that you turned off earlier. And now you're on the newest, latest version of Proxmox. Thank you everybody for checking this video out, and I hope to see you in the next one.